Ah, yes, a game I used to go to when both of these teams were Big East opponents is Miami and Temple as uh, both teams looking to get victories uh, as we get closer to the end of September. I am mid-major Matt, sportsmemo.com. Stay tuned for a special offer at the end of the video. But, of course, you look at this line here, and it's a it's it's a bit of a, a, a mismatch here. Miami minus 24, Temple uh, over under is uh, 52. And as I mentioned, these two teams played a bunch when it came to uh, earlier in the college football conference time with the Big East. Miami used to win this game by quite a bit, and they probably will win this one quite a bit as well. Now, I'll say this up front. For me personally, I will never lay this many points uh, on the road. I'm too afraid of the back door. Too afraid of Miami not showing up. Uh, this is a personal preference, though. Certainly Miami's going to win the game. And if that's your sort of thing, I think they could cover this number. Uh, when taking a look at the Hurricanes, they actually will have a couple of extra days. Remember, they played that game against Texas A&M. And then the next Thursday, they hosted Bethune-Cookman 48-7. to They won that game. So they've had a couple extra days. Uh, there was some worry about Cam Kinchins, who left with an injury. It seems like he is okay, and he's going to play in this game. Now, how much? If this game's a blowout. Who knows? Uh, there is no look ahead factor for the Miami Hurricanes. They've got a bye next week before they start and, and uh, play some conference games. So certainly Miami will be focused for this one. And that's been something we've worried about in the past with Miami. What's their focus like for these games where they play lesser opponents? Because occasionally they've played down to them. Occasionally they've had some struggles. This year's team so far has shown they are not, uh, they are not doing that sort of thing. So that's the Miami sort of things. On the Temple side, they're coming off of 41-9 to win over Norfolk State. Uh, everything kind of worked in that game for the Owls. That hasn't been the case all season long because Temple has been extremely one-dimensional. E.J. Warner, Kurt Warner's son, has been a fantastic passer, and he's got a bunch of very good wide receivers and tight ends that he's throwing the ball to. Uh, they're coached by Stan Drayton, the former running backs coach at Texas. And the problem for Temple is they can't run the ball. They've got some solid running backs, but the offensive line has struggled to open up holes. Making them one-dimensional will be a, quite a problem against the Miami defense, especially if Kinchins plays. That's something to certainly watch out for as the week goes along, but it looks like he will play. The other factor to consider here is there is a tropical storm. It's a weather system, whatever it is, that will be going up the East Coast. And on Saturday in Philadelphia, there will be rain and 15 mile per hour winds. Now, of course, this is as we tape this video on Tuesday, so things could certainly change. But rain and wind will make both of these teams one dimensional. Miami's got like four great running backs and they know how to run the ball. Temple does not. So watch the total in this one. If it starts to fall a little bit, that means people are convinced uh, the, way, the rain will be a factor here. One other thing to consider, and the number certainly isn't out yet, the Temple team total under last year, the Temple team total under was a, a tremendous bet to make. It's covered several times already this season. So that's something to certainly watch for as we see the weather forecast develop and the game plan develop for both of these teams. Temple cannot run the ball. There will not be much much of a home field advantage here. Miami will certainly bring a lot of fans. It feels like uh, there will be a buzz in the stadium, but it probably will be mostly Miami fans uh, unless the rain is too bad and then nobody may be there. Uh, so certainly ch check out the Temple team total under and maybe the game under as we get closer if the weather forecast continues to present rain and wind. Uh, you Listen, if you want to check me out here for this coming weekend, use the promo code MAT3. It's a three-day pass. $39 uh, gets you three days. Maybe try it out on a Friday. Get some baseball on Friday, some college football on a Saturday, fresh off another 6-2 and two Saturday, and uh, a little NFL on Sunday. So use the promo code MAT3, three days for $39. Make sure to check out all the videos and all the previews here on the YouTube Wager Talk channel. Check out the shows that we have. We're going to give you as much free information as we possibly can. So make sure to give us a like and a subscribe and check out all the videos. Mid-Major Matt, sign off, sportsmemo.com.